So enough of the nice stuff. Let's get down to the roasting. Oh. So this is toasting and roasting. And the first roaster of the evening comes with a double degree in roasting from the University of Wallabaloo. She's been known to roast publicly, known to roast privately, and has a license to roast young girls at a particularly high school. Um, I'd like to welcome my beautiful wife, who's going to do the roasting first. Uh, Thank you, darling. Thank you. Thank you, MC. You might not. No, I'm not going to roast. I'm never going to roast, baby. Nearly come and stand with me, because you are the woman of the moment. So, as most of you, and you can't see, Abby. And you can't see me either. You can't see me either, but I don't have them. Now, as most of you know, Abby and I were very, very close as young children growing up. And apart from intermittent, brief encounters, we would not see each other for 30 years. Oh. 30 years we would not live in the same country, let alone the same city. So, you would think 30 years would take a huge toll on our relationship, <laughs> but not at all, no. We took up where we left off. Chewing the fat over bottles of bolly. <laughs> <laughs> well done. It wasn't, it wasn't bottles of bolly back then, of course, was it, Abby? It was marking food. Cold duck. Cold duck. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, something no. very exotic. We know the name. And a cart. Very exotic. No, no, no. It was called a poulet. Poulet. And it was orange, fizzy stuff. Very alcoholic. It fell off the back of a truck, I think. That Dad brought home in the back of my So in the uh, the spirit of Master Chef, we would have we would have judged that on fact and, and fiction. Um, it was a good dish. There were a number of interesting elements. But perhaps perhaps a little bit a little bit too much fact and not enough fiction. And so we're hoping that um, the next speaker might um, be able to read a little, l l little bit of fiction. So uh, our second speaker is a, um, a master, master at the um, roast. roast. <laughs> he, he's a celebrity roast, uh, finalist at the 1995 Celebrity Roast Competition. Uh, has been known to roast the best online, particularly when it comes to bridge. Oh, <laughs> um, But I know we'll speak from the heart. Um, 
but maybe a little bit of friction would be good as well. <laughs> Abby's dad, Peter. <laughs> Thank you for jollying them along enough. I hope it's enough because um, I do usually have anecdotes about uh, the girls, but the bullying older sisters. <laughs> I'm not very good at little pet, little pet, little pet. Oh, I don't have any anecdotes because they don't come out of them very well. Especially roasting Abby, not the sisters. Keep going, Peter. Keep going, Peter. I'm going to roast my darling.
we did, I, I know there's 12 seconds in a year. 2nd of January, 2nd of February, 2nd of March, etc., etc. So he said, oh no, I forget that. So she said, no, the name of the swagman is Andrew. So she explained this by saying, it's in the lyrics of the song. Andy sat. Uh, Andy, uh, uh, wait uh, Andy, uh, wait off. Andy, wait off. Andy, wait off. Andy, wait off. So that's oh, the root to heaven. And heavy bits. Woo! Thank you, Craig. You'll surely have a little bit of Abby. So before we give Abby the right of reply, um, we should probably just have a random roast. So random roast could be you'd like to just say something about your experience or life with Abby, uh, fact or fiction. Uh, the judges would like a good balance of both. Um, All right, I'd so like to say something. Here we go. Just very briefly, I'm here we go. just breaking open the opening so we can all feel free to come up and make a fool of ourselves. I had never heard of Robbie Williams until I met Abby. <laughs> <laughs> I was in love with him. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> fact or fiction? I'm not sure it's quite right. But <laughs> <laughs> fact. <laughs> so you say. So random race. Because <coughs> uh, I've got some cards up. Um, we've got some travellers yeah, from abroad, we've got people here. Anyone who would like to just say a word or, t word or two for Abby is, now's your time. Well, I think she's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> well, said. Well, said. Well, said. Well, said. I think she's wonderful too. Always, she smiles all the time. <laughs> she lights up the room when she comes in. She does. And oh. also, she's always the last man standing with her high heels. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Absolutely. And a dance. Pottering. 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 But it's also the truth. I have known Abby since she was born, but when she was born, um, I probably didn't actually realise who she was at that time, but I've grown up with the Oakley family. And this one, you've mentioned her smile, it's very true, and she got away with bloody murder all the time. Thank you! she got away with bloody murder, her sisters let her get away with it as well when she yeah. smiled. So although they might complain, they all so and they would have whipped out the smile. And Abby, Abby before, before I give you the right of reply to your, your, your family and friends, my how the roles have reversed. Because when I first met you, when I was doing my absolute best to seduce your sister. Which time? We, we, we would give you a bottle of beer, <laughs> send you off to a bedroom <laughs> with, with one of her girlfriends to keep her quiet. And now the roles are kind of reversed, and that's like, we can never get out of your place because there's always another bottle to be open to carry on party. <laughs> that's why we love you so much. And let's face it, I mean, when it comes to enjoying company, friends, party, um, this gal is absolutely <laughs> top of the knot. Yeah. Yes, you do. Absolutely. Thank you. 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 Thank you.